Hi, okay, this is problem 3.15 of Sadiku book. So we are asked to find I0. I0 is here and power dissipated in its resistors. So this is 6 Siemens, 3 Siemens, and 5 Siemens. So first of all, we, we are going to face unfamiliar unit here, Siemens. So basically, Siemens is equal to 1 over ohm. So we need to convert this into ohm and basically it's just taking the inverse of this one. So 6 Siemens it will be 1 over 6 Siemens, 6 ohm sorry. So we can erase this and this is 5 Siemens. It's become 1 over 5 ohm and then this one 3 Siemens this will become 1 over 3 ohm and now we can work with this familiar units and we will start so as usual I will start with set this one as ground and we are asked to find I0 I0 is here so naturally I will pick this node pick this node and we name it node A Okay, let we do KCL at not A. Okay, so we will have. Let's assume that the current that this is going there, and this current is going here, and that current is going there and we will have another part here and we will make the current goes there and this goes there let's name this as node b and we will start so the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out no current that goes in here so i will put zero there and then i will put this one uh, because the current that goes out is, sorry I0 and then plus okay this one is voltage source we will take care of that later and I will just name it I between A and B and then this one is equal to 2 ampere okay and i will move this to over there so i will get i0 plus i a b is equal to minus 2 and i0 is v a i0 is v a divided by 1 over 6 plus i a b is equal to minus 2 and we can simplify this further by using this one 6 VA is equal to not equal plus I A B and that will equal to minus 2 so now we have I A B here and for this one we will take a look at not B so we will have this one written here and I A B the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out so it will equal to this current it is V B divided by 1 over 5 and then plus so now we will have this current here but we don't know the current here let's name this node as node C so this current is equal to VB minus VC divided by 1 over 3 and this will equal to minus 2 
and let's simplify this equation 6 VA plus 5 VB plus this one becomes 3 VB minus VC and this will equal to minus 2 and we still can simplify this further by using simple algebra and this will equal minus 2 and this one 6 VA plus 5 VB not 5 5 plus 3 is 8 so let's just write it as 8 and minus 3 VC is equal to minus 2 and let's save this as equation number 1 so we will have VA, VB and VC we still need two more equation because we have three variables here and let me take a look at node A and node B here there is a folded source here so VAB is equal to 10 volt and that means the difference between this node and this node is 10 volt so we will have VA minus VB is equal to 10 so let's save this as equation number two. We still have to find uh, another equation, so we will take a look at node C. So this is the current from current source it is coming here, and this also coming here. So the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out. The current that goes in is this one and this one okay let me erase this part and we will have kcl at not c so we will have kcl at not c the current that goes in is vb minus vc divided by 1 over 3 plus 2 oh all the current is goes in so plus 4 and that will equal to 0 there is no current that goes out in the node c and we can simplify this 3 vb minus 3 vc plus 6 and I will move to the right hand side minus 6 and we can divide both sides by 3 let me erase this we can divide both sides by 3 so we will have sorry about that we will have VB minus VC it's equal to minus 2 and this will be equation number 3 now we have this equation this equation and this equation and I will use substitution method for that let me erase the irrelevant part so I will is only the relevant part and we have this three equation one two three and we need to solve for VA so the simplest that we can start is here VB is equal to VC minus 2 and then I can substitute this into this one Therefore, VA minus VC minus 2 is equal to 10. And then I will get, let me erase this one. I will get 
PA minus VC plus 2 is equal to 10 or we can move 2 to the right hand side and we get 8 Okay, we will have VA minus VC is equal to 8 and we can use this part VC is equal to no 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 do not use that one I think we better use VA is VC plus 8 So, this, so we will have, let me just name this equation, equation 4, and this one is equation 5, and we can erase equation number 3, because it's not relevant anymore, and now, we can we can make this all in the term of VC and let's do that 6 VA VA is VC plus 8 and then it's plus 8 VB is VC minus 2 VC minus 2 and it's subtracted by 3 VC and that's equal to minus 2 Let's do some algebra here plus eight VC minus sixteen minus three VC is equal to minus two and now we take a look at VC six plus eight is fourteen fourteen minus three is eleven eleven VC and then plus 48 minus 16 is 32 yeah 32 i think 32 and that will give us minus 2 and we can simplify this again we will have 11 VC is equal to minus 34 so VC is equal to minus 34 over 11 so now we can okay so the equation number 3 is VA number three number five I think VA is equal to VC plus eight so this is number five so we we need to find out I zero here so I zero is VA divided by one over six or six VA and then it will equal to 6 VC plus 8 we know the value of VC so it is, it is 6 minus 34 over 11 plus 8 and then this one is 6 minus 34 over 11 plus 88 divided by 11 so I can erase this finally so I will get 88 subtracted by 34 it is 4 5 so it is 6 times 54 
offer 11 so we will have this value let me calculate that 24 30. and we will have this value you can calculate this by using calculator but I don't have that at the moment so I just I just make this my final answer okay that's all thanks for watching and let me know if you find any mistakes